I think we have a, a pretty good sense of what we need and what's coming in terms of uh, skills training needs. But you really don't know for sure until you go out and actually ask the people who, who employ uh, the, these folks. Uh, and that's what we're doing in this uh, workforce uh, table meeting here in Cranbrook today. Um, when we look at the trades training system and the, the whole college uh, training system, we've got to make sure that we're closely aligned with the needs of industry. And I think this was a really good opportunity for us to start that dialogue with the people in the East and West Coonies. A student in grade 10 may say, you know, I really want to become a millwright because my dad was a millwright. But how does he get there? So there needs to be some involvement from government and the round table is a great idea to get that dialogue started. And we need to figure out how do we, what do we build, uh, what system do we build, because the way it is right now isn't going to work. Yeah, I think having a, a workforce table is a really good idea. It's something that we've actually been talking about at the First Nations level for quite some time, about bringing industry and, and uh, government and different agencies together to talk about how can we, um, you know, what solutions that we can we come up with that work for us, that aren't developed in Victoria or Ottawa, things like that. So it's, it's something that I'm really glad to see happening. Um, and I think that it'll be valuable. We're asking people, what are your needs? What do you see coming in the future? Um, are your employment needs being satisfied uh, today? And many, of course, are saying, no, we, we need skilled uh, people and we can't find them. So that's what we need to hear. We need to know specifically what, what they need for training. And then we need to align that training uh, with the people who, who want to take the training here in the Kootenays.